What's happening, everybody? Today, I've got Mr. John Perry what? of Oncology, and we have two battery mowers, and we're gonna go all Mythbusters style right. and see which one we like best. That's exactly it. So, hang on. So you know I really like the Tour. And you know that I really like the Eagle. Yeah, and the, yeah, you've had this mower for how long? Uh, two months, two, two and months. months. Okay, and you've only done like a few cuts with this thing. I have done two cuts with the Toro. Two cuts with the Toro. So the Ego comes with a 56 volt, 7.5 amp hour battery. And the Toro comes with a 60 volt. 60 volt. And typically, what, uh, six amp hour? Six, yeah, that six. one's 60 and six, I believe. Okay, so that's the that's the big difference is the battery size on that's that. That's it, 60 that's and six. 60 and six. So I've had the Ego for two months now. I really enjoy it. I think it's a, a fantastic mower. And John got mm -hmm. this Toro and he said, hey, let's put them up against each other. So Toro actually sent us this one and they said, hey, test it out. We want you to see what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. So now to make all things equal, we have to do something to make them equal. Correct. So we're gonna be running them on the smaller batteries, uh, which are both two and a half amp hour. Correct. So I have a 2.5 amp hour battery that I use typically on my string trimmer mm -hmm. and Toro provided a 2.5 amp hour battery that also you can use on their string trimmer or anything. One of the really nice things that I like about these battery platforms is no matter what battery you have, it works on every tool in that platform. So we're gonna use the 2.5 amp hour battery at first. We're gonna put them up against each other. We're gonna go out to the pasture and we're gonna mow until they stop. And now we're gonna run these on recycling too. Correct. All we're right, gonna so ditch the bag. Ditching the bags, putting the recycling on, and then we're just gonna go until they die. Full speed ahead. Full speed, all the way up, all the way down. Okay, great. I think it sounds good. Let's go to the field. Let's go. Go to the field. All right, everybody. So we're out here at the pasture. I had John over there talking to himself. And we are gonna mow in tandem together with the 2.5 amp hour battery and see just how far we're gonna get. John thinks we're only gonna get like four passes, five you passes. That, you see that huge patch of weeds you missed in the middle? <laughs> Which one? That big one, <laughs> the middle. There's a big patch of weeds that I missed with the Q4. And uh, John doesn't think we're gonna get past that. I think we're gonna get on the other side of it. I think we're gonna get more than halfway, but we'll just have to wait and see. All right, we got our batteries charged. Ready and uh, time to go. Let's see just how far. We made it, we made it, guys. What? Yeah, John's here. What? All right, we can start now. Let's go. guys so the ego with the 2.5 amp hour battery did one full pass down and back more than the 
Toro with the 2.5 amp hour battery. You go, Dad, right back there. They managed to pull off what? Three more passes? No, one full pass. So because one I went up, down, one down. Back into and here. Into here. Okay. So I got. So one full back and forth. Now, what I think probably contributed to that is the Toro's faster. Way faster. Like. You were moving a lot more. Yeah, which means it's drawing so, a lot more power. In my mind, you covered essentially the same distance with this, with the exact same batteries, right? So you got 2.5, 2.5. Yeah. So wait, I just split this out. From where this is sitting on the measurement, it mowed 4,000 feet. So skipping passes. We mowed about 8,250 feet. So out of 2.5 amp hour batteries, 4,000 square feet. 4,000 square feet. Roughly. Yeah, I mean, that, so I mean, that does my lawn. I mean, I could probably almost do it. I probably do it three times. Right, so my lawn it. being 5,000 square feet, I could almost do it. And I probably could, you probably could do yeah, because it wouldn't because have this. Because it, it's not going to be so long and thick. Yeah. So on a normal mow out of a 2.5 amp hour battery, That's pretty good. probably roughly 5,000 square feet. Yeah. All right, so we're here at the far end of the pasture where I haven't ever done anything. So we're gonna take both of these mowers and we're gonna just bulldoze them through here and see how far they go. John says what? Here? I'm saying no more than 10 feet. Okay. 10 feet. Ah, uh, uh, to, to, the, to the, like daisies. To the flower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. That's where I think we go. might be able to make it to the flower. So we, what we did is we put the big daddy batteries on both of these, right? So the Ego has the 7.5 amp hour battery and the Toro has the 6 amp hour battery. Uh. Alright, so that's how far the Ego went. Let's try the Toro. quality to me it looks like Toro might have way cleaner might have been a much cleaner cut than the ego yeah it looks like it only picked up like half the grass through there ego looks like really this half is cutting much better than this half yeah, that is, that is a big that's a much cleaner cut all right, so like I was saying, neither of these mowers are really designed to do what we just did with them. You know, I mean, there, there's places where this is two and three feet tall and just It's a lot of thick. grass. It's thick. Yeah. So this isn't a daily use kind of a thing that you would be doing with either of these mowers. No. However, they both will do it. Yes. It'll there be are... really rough <laughs> and then it'll be okay. Yes. Yeah. So it would take you three or four passes through here, but you could mow it down and get it get it good. Mm -hmm. However, there are some very distinct differences from this mower to this mower when doing it in a situation like this. Number one being the heft and the weight of the mower. The Toro is just a much more robust mower. It is. It, it is definitely heavier. It feels like a classic mower. Correct. And uh, everything about it 
is you know you don't have to do anything different from what you've done and anything else if you're switching from gas to electric you wouldn't know the difference between the controls it just it's it's the right. same feels the same so it handled this a lot better because it's heavier it's got bigger wheels it's just like i said it's just a beefier unit and probably more designed to do something like this than the ego is the ego kind of floated because of its weight like this thing is light it's just plastic really mm -hmm. and when you're getting into this thick stuff it kind of floated mm -hmm. across it this being heavier weighed down and mowed better because of the weight yes i think one of the other differences that helped the recycler in this is the blade design so if you flip it up and you look at this blade this is a, a traditional lawnmower blade mm -hmm. yep it feels the same it looks the same i'm pretty sure it's the exact same blade that you would put on a normal recycler the ego however and this isn't necessarily a knock on ego because it it works great mm -hmm. if you're using it in a normal everyday use the ego works great but in something like this where you're in super thick grass these blades are pretty thin there's a lot of flex to them yeah where the traditional thicker mower blade you just don't get that all right hey wrap up wrap up so let's talk about each of these mowers briefly talk about the features that i really like features that john really likes and then the, some of the things about each of the mowers that i don't like the ego has a couple of things that i think are phenomenal for homeowners the single-handed height adjustment on the ego for a homeowner well for honestly for anybody for for that's anybody a good feature it's awesome that's a good feature the downside to that is if part of it breaks it all breaks it all breaks yeah you know if you break off a, a tong tong I, I don't know I don't toggle know. toggle with toggle lever, lever. Lever. If you break off the lever toggle thingy, the stanchion on the Toro, mm -hmm. you could get that part and replace it. And really easily because this is the same as the gas motor. Right, and there's probably a bajillion parts places that you could get that from. Next thing I really like about the Ego is this. The ability to fold it down super quickly with one hand and the three easy height adjustments. Yeah, so that I think actually just noticing in the design here, they do a lot of one-handed stuff because also the drive is push button. And for me, that was a little uncomfortable. Yeah. It's hard to get used to, but it could either be a left or right hand. It's not both. Like, you know, you're typically used to right, pulling a drive or pushing a drive. Both. So you've got buttons, but then that also allows it to run without the blades running and push it around the yard. Which is really cool. Which you cannot do on this. However, I don't know that it's really all that necessary on the Ego because the Ego is just so light. It is very light. And the wheels that they put on here are ball bearing wheels. Mm -hmm. So it rolls super smooth, super easy. It's nice to be able to push a button and have it go, but not 100% necessary. Right. When you have the 7.5 amp hour battery in, it has a fuel gauge on it. Mm -hmm. It has, I think, five or six? Five or six. Yeah, I think it is. It is five. 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 It's got five, five lights. And the Toro has four, but you can't see it. Right. So when, when you pull the Toro battery out, you can press the button and see if there's juice in it or not, which is great when you're done mowing or you're done yeah. using the blower, but it doesn't help you while you're mowing. Um, I think for creature comforts, this thing, just because it's light, it's easy to handle, uh, you can see the charge, you know, everything's fairly intuitive. I, I mean, I, I think it, it's okay. I, I just still don't like the drive. Plus, it does feel really light. It feels incredibly light, which I think is a pro and a con yeah. at the same time. I guess it, you know, it really is going to depend on who's mowing and what right. you're used to. Cons on this unit. When we got into the thicker stuff, the cut quality was not as good as it was on the Toro. No. Um, it just wasn't. The, the self-propel system works. It, it's not as 
easy as the the Toro, and I don't know if easy is the word. I don't know either because when I when I bought this mower uh, for Katie, I had never used the personal pace. Right. And at first, it was a little weird. And I I felt the same way the first time I used personal pace at Jeremy's house. But now. Oh, I freaking love it. I mean, it, there, there's something about it and it, it almost it like provides a little bit of suspension even as you're kind of moving along, which is pretty cool because I feel like it it almost like keeps the mower like level. Yeah, because you're, you've are you got a little flex in there almost like you've got suspension, which I think is pretty cool. I agree. So when it comes to self-propel, I think hands down Toro takes the cake. I don't, I don't know that there's a better self-propel system and it's than fast. the personal pace. It is. So we had this thing pinned all the way up and it was nowhere close to as fast as the Toro was. And I don't know, were you pushed no. all the way into oh, it? Oh yeah, oh, I was all the way down. I just kept that thing running the whole time, but what, what that equated into less cut. Right. So we had more speed, if you're racing, plus, you know, technically you're getting about eight and a half percent more cut. Okay, so if you do just run it and you, and you manage it with a little bit bigger blade, 22 inch versus 21, yeah, I mean, do you really notice that? that difference going on the lines? Probably not really, but uh, I, I think that when you're doing your overlaps um, and, and going back and forth, if you've got this thing pinned, it moves really quick. Like probably too fast for most people, I would actually say. I would, I would imagine so. In a normal line like this, where you're making what, 40 or 50 foot passes? Yeah. There's no need for it to go wide open. No. In the field, you get kind of get up to speed, but that was another thing, is this just, you, it goes, this one has a slow oh, lag, oh, oh, like, a uh, ramp up. which is actually, I don't know that that's a bad thing or a, a good thing. Right, really, it's not necessarily a pro It doesn't surprise you. Right. Right? Like it didn't just take off, so no. that's nice. No. On the Ego, right here you have a clear, well, greenish clear. Yeah. Semi-clear. Transparent. Transparent window that you can see your battery. And when you have the battery that has the fuel gauge on it, you can see how much battery life you have left. So you kind of know, hey, you know, I'm getting close to the end. Where with the Toro, when it's done, it's done. This thing. Another thing I am not a huge fan of on the Ego that the Toro just takes the cake on is mm -hmm. this. The recycler. The, the mulch plug on this is an actual mulch plug compared to this. the Toro, which you go flip, 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 flip. Done, back and forth. Nothing to it. It's getting in oh, there. hey, John, what are you doing? Hey, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm flipping the switch. What does the switch do? I don't know. Oh, oh. Recycling? Whoa. What? Not recycling. Get out of here. Recycling? No. Not recycling. Holy cow. Recycling? You know, now I feel like I'm doing something good for the environment. Wow. It was so easy. I've never had recycling be so easy. It is a nice feature. That might be my favorite feature. I think it's pretty cool. Toro. When it comes to the two mowers here, the Toro and the Ego, if you're looking for more of a lawnmower feel, which one would you go with? This one, 100%. And what's what's the reasoning behind that? So I like the weight. I, I, I can just, you can feel sort of the, the craftsmanship about the whole thing, but it, it doesn't feel different than a gas mower at all. So you feel the weight, you're moving it, you know, even aside, you know, you can't hear the gas engine, you still feel this sort of roar with this thing, especially when it really fires up. And it just, it's an, a very simple transition, but I feel like the durability is there. Like I, when I look at this, and, and I would say this is true with any battery thing, my main concern is gonna be how often do you have to replace these? Right. Right, like that's the one thing that is still, I think a great unknown all the way around the board. Right, So this is, this is very new technology yes. when it comes to lawnmower tech. But this, I'm not worried if I'm gonna like hit it into the kids playground set or like you know it's gonna do a fence post or whatever I'm not gonna like break the plastic this like you know flip I feel like this is gonna last me longer it's a it's a tried and true design yes like I mean people have recyclers that are 20 years old mm -hmm. and yep. still using them so yeah I, I certainly wouldn't worry about the construction quality um, not to say that this feels cheap no it doesn't it's just different it is it, it is a very different experience when you're when you're used to one thing being a, a regular gas push behind mower and you jump to this 
it's a very different experience. <laughs> to wrap it up. Yeah, wrap up. If I was buying just a lawnmower, I think if I had to go for a lawnmower, which one I think is a better lawnmower, I would buy in to the Toro. I would buy the Toro. It feels like a lawnmower. The personal pace system is awesome. Um, the, the recycle? Yeah, that's not the recycle. Best. Not yeah. recycle. That's but awesome. It, it's awesome. It's plug, so nice. no plug. Plug, no plug. Plug, no plug. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. There, there's a handful of things that aren't aren't fantastic, but there, there's not anything glaring that I can't get over. Um, if you've already bought into the ego system, you stay in the universe. It, it is totally fine to buy this mower. This is a good one. Yeah, it is. It cut great and it lasted a long time. And now everybody should remember we ran these on the 2.5s. Correct. So, and you have a 7.5. Right. This. I have a 7.5 that I did a video on. Link in the link in the eye icon. Uh, where? 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 I don't know. Link in the eye icon. Oh, I think it's uh, over there. It's over here. Over here. So, I did a video on this where I mowed that same pasture. And with the 7.5 amp hour battery, I mowed 35,000 square feet yeah, of that's grass. A that's a ton. So this is a good lawnmower. Yeah, yeah. This is a good lawnmower. Yeah. I think what it comes down to is the lawn mowing experience. If you, yeah. if you want the traditional lawn mowing experience, Toro, hands down, is it's going to be great. It's going to work. You got it's loads a, of history behind this name. Correct. So, anyways, I think that's that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This is Brett. Hi, right, John. And John. And Brett. Brett. It's Brett. We'll see you next time. Bye.